So I've got well over 100 fish now in my household. In this video, I want to talk about my five favorites. At number five, we've got Hulk, my Venustus. Very beautiful fish, good constitution. He's formidable in my hierarchy, the number two tank boss. I'd like to know if a Venustus can crossbreed with some of the other African cichlids or it has to be another Venustus. That's something I don't know the answer to. Maybe somebody in the comments can share some experiences. If that's possible, I'd like to see what kind of hybrids I can create. At number four, we have Sub-Zero right there at the bottom, my electric blue. Beautiful fish, and he loves to look straight at me. And you can see right here, he's looking straight at you into your, into your view screen of your iPhone, tablet, or computer, whatever you're using to watch this video. And even though he's kind of skittish and shy, kind of avoids the other fish and he's a little paranoid sometimes you can tell see him kind of squirm away he still shows his color i have another electric blue male that actually doesn't show his color anymore but sub-zero does really really nice fish still has room to grow more too and here is diamond you can see him there rearranging some of the rocks. This was back in a 65 gallon. He comes in at number three. He would be number one in a lot of people's book. He's just a beautiful OB, the tank boss of my 135 gallon. He has fertilized a lot of the, the eggs. So he's fathered many fry and juveniles that I have. And he is energetic and just always taking charge. Like you can see here back in the 65 gallon. This is from the archives right here probably a year and a half ago. He's in the 135 now, and he's in full command in that tank. Nobody messes with him, and he's at the top of the food chain. We're getting a nice close look of him here. Really powerful. And beautiful and elegant looking. Got the nice thin gold ring around his eye. And lots of little blue diamonds on him, which is why I call him Diamond. And he's of course an OB or orange blotched cichlid. And he was one of those fish that there was just something about him. When I saw him at the tropical fish store, I knew I wanted him. Sometimes you look at a tank at a store and there's just one fish that immediately catches your eye and you focus on him. That's what happened with him. We could not could not avoid, you know, just noticing him. He really stood out. And here is Storm Shadow coming in at number two. She is just a beautiful female African cichlid. Now normally females are the ones that hobbyists avoid because they don't have the bright, vibrant colors. They're just not as they're just not as salient when you look at your, your tank, but she turned out pretty unique because she's a pearly white. Normally the females that are white have little orange spots on them and it's so common that it's kind of not desired. The pearly white and the blacks and some hints of purple, a little bit of blue. Love that part right there where she expands her fins. And she's very confident. She's a tank boss right now of my 90 gallon. She sits near the, t the surface of the water and lets me pet her, not afraid of me, and she's pretty intelligent. And there was a day, actually, when she was in the 65-gallon where she took full command of the tank. It was really strange. She even had Diamond afraid, and Diamond was going into the corner and hiding. She just, I'm going to have to dig into the archives and, and, and do a video on that where she just took over the tank one day. Anyway, she's one of my favorites, had her for a few years now, and she's been the mother to many fry, as you can see right here. She's really good at, at you know, nurturing her maternal instincts. Here she is, raising her fry, spitting out little pieces of food for some, from some pellets that she had chewed, and her fry survive, and there's many in a tank with her now on the 90 gallon, and I've sold some and traded some into the store, but I'm definitely gonna keep some of her some of her, some her offspring, and every time she's had fry, every time she's been holding, it's been Diamond who's fertilized. So I'm pretty excited to see how her, 
how her youngsters are going to turn out. You can actually see a few in this video. Getting another look at her in slow-mo when she's expanding her fins right there. It's a really nice shot. So now we are going to number one. And that is Fireball. My amazing blood parrot. who <laughs> was pretty popular, giving us a yawn right there. This was a long time ago, probably almost two years ago, in the 65 gallon. He used to do this a lot. This was kind of like his famous go-to move where he would swim into his pyramid and then peer out the window. He doesn't do that quite as much lately. I don't know if he grew out of it or what, but he used to love to go in there and, and look out and just you know, let everyone know that that's his house. And he used to like to just kind of, it was kind of like his command center. He would go in there and look at all the action and decide if you want to stay in there or come out. Here's a more recent video. There he is on the lower left, the leader of my blood parrots. He's like the silverback gorilla. They follow him around and you can just tell he's kind of the, the trendsetter and the leader and everybody just kind of falls in line behind him. He's always... He's always up to something. He's just fun to watch. Look at him right here nibbling on those, those leaves there of that Anubius plant. And there he is telling Flamethrower, get away from my plant. He used to love to claim things and remind the other fish that get away from that. That's mine. <laughs> Which he doesn't do that quite as often anymore. And maybe other fish who, who live with him know that when something's his, you know, don't bother with it or you're going you're, you're gonna to face his wrath. And although he did eat another fish once, he's not terribly cruel. He chases a little, but he doesn't terrorize my other fish. Here we are. He's you're getting some shots of him there of eating some shrimp. And then now he's just kind of hanging out again. Nice big blood parrot. Bright, bright orange. So these are my five favorites right here. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. See him fireball knocking the food out of my spoon right there. Let me know what you think of my top five. Most of the people who come to my house say that these are the ones they like best. Let me know what your thoughts are. And also, do you have your favorites among your own fish? So thanks for watching and check again for more videos in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.